Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. The name of my channel is Iwa Academy and my name is Choma. Welcome once again, Ndewo. Uh, the, the first, okay, I, I, I have a series going on which is like 15 episodes of the first beginner's level of learning Igbo language. So this, this second part is the intermediate part. And if you've watched all, if you've learned everything from the first series, that's the, the episodes of the first series, Igbo Academy, the beginner's level, and you're here. You've done so much for yourself. Kudos, you've done so well for yourself. So now, we are going further into learning Igbo language. In this, in this part, we are going to talk about the technical and lexical vocabularies. We are going to talk about the technical and lexical vocabularies. So for culture to be preserved, culture can be preserved if the language of the people is preserved. So for you to preserve a culture, you have to preserve the language of the people. That's where you can you can say you are preserving culture and the language is lost. No. First of all, you have to preserve the language of the people. Preservation must be done both spoken and written. This language must include the various fields and disciplines of life. To produce books on these fields, it is necessary to produce technical vocabularies in Igbo. This implies fashioning Igbo terminologies for their foreign counterparts. So all those foreign words have to have a counterpart in Igbo language for you to preserve the culture. So if someone calls and asks you what is this in Igbo, you can't say, hey, there is no word for something like this in Igbo. So you have to, because you want to preserve the culture, the Igbo culture, the Igbo language, you have to preserve the language too. This implies fashioning Igbo terminologies for their foreign counterparts. The following are the new terminologies as agreed by the standardiz Standardization Committee of the Society for Promoting Igbo Language and Culture. So there is a, a group, a committee that is in, in, in charge of promoting Igbo language and culture. So they brought out different words in English, their, their counterparts in Igbo, so that people will learn about them and it will help preserve the language. So I'm going to say some English expressions and their Igbo equivalents. One, grammar. Grammar is called otasusu. Grammar, otasusu. Part of speech, nkejiasusu. Part of speech, nkejiasusu. Now, mboaha. Now, mboaha. Pronoun, nnotiaha. Pronoun, nnotiaha. Verb, ngwa. Verb, ngwa. Adjective, nkowaha. Adjective, nkowaha. Pronoun, ahaka. Pronoun, ahaka. Common noun. Okay, sorry. Proper noun, ahaka. Proper noun, ahaka. Common noun, aha is way. Common noun, aha is way. Conjunction, njiko. Conjunction, njiko. Adverb, nkua. Adverb, nkua. We are going to say more of these words, which are preposition, mbuzo. Preposition, mbuzo. Participle, nkowa ngwa. Participle, nkowa ngwa. 
Auxiliary verb Nyemaka ngwa Auxiliary verb Nyemaka ngwa Gender is gender 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 but the spelling is different but it's still the same thing gender Masculine Okay Masculine Okay Feminine Winnie Feminine Winnie Intonation Ndobolu Intonation Ndobolu Sound Order Sound Order Pronunciation Mpopota Pronunciation Mpopota Suffix Unsunazu Suffix Unsunazu Prefix Unganihu Prefix Unganihu So the other words formation or derivation those other words formation and derivation it can be called meboku word formation meboku you have some subjunctive subjunctive is called umburu umburu subjunctive umburu Positive imperative, positive imperative, intimiu, positive imperative, intimiu, negative imperative, umbochi, negative imperative, umbochi, numerals, onogogo, numerals, onogogo. Numbers onogo numbers onogo figure is figure two but the spelling is different figure figure subject is you subject is you object is object two but the spelling is different Object, object. Verb root is singwa. Verb root is singwa. Vowels. Udaume. Vowel. Udaume. Consonant. Mbochume. Consonant. Mbochume. Spelling. Spelling. That's now Spelling. Spelling unsupi. Spelling unsupi. Then spell, which is a verb to spell, means supi. Verb supi. Idiom. Idiom. Aba loku. Idiom. Aba loku. Figure of speech. Atumatuku. Figure of speech Atumatoku Proverb Ilu Proverb Ilu Language Asosu Language Asosu Dialect Oluasosu Dialect Oluasosu Kind or type is OD. Kind or type OD. Sentence Ahiyoku. Sentence Ahiyoku. Com simple sentence Ahirinfe. Simple sentence Ahirinfe. Complex sentence. Ahiri mbawo. Mbawo. Complex sentence. Ahiri mbawo. 
Compound sentence, I hear you cool. Compound sentence, I hear you cool. Phonetics. Phonetics. It's the same pronunciation, but the spellings are different. Phonetics. Phonetics. Phonology. Phonology. The same pronunciation, but the spelling is different. Phonology. Phonology. Syllabic nasa. Syllabic nasa. Iyu daumi. Syllabic nasa. Iyu daumi. Diagraphs. Unpulumpi. Diagraphs. Unpulumpi. Tone language. Asusuda. Tone language. Asusuda. Stylistics is stylistics too, but the spelling is different. Stylistics, stylistics. Linguistics is linguistics also, but the spelling is different. Linguistics, linguistics. The unit is in Kevin. Unit in Kevin. Paragraph on Suko. Paragraph, Nsuko, Chapter, EC, Chapter, EC, Alphabet, Alphabet 2, Alphabet, Alphabet, then Vowel Harmony, Ndakorita Udaume, Vowel Harmony, Ndakorita Udaume, Orthography, is orthography also in Igbo, but the spelling, but the the spelling is different. Orthography is orthography. Then you have syllable in Kejioku. Syllable in Kejioku. Composition edemede. If someone says write a composition, edemede. It means write a composition. Composition, a demede. Literature, agumago. Literature, agumago. Tone, udasusu. Tone, udasusu. High tone, udailu. High tone, udailu. Mid tone, udaititi. Mid tone, udaititi. Low tone, udala. No tone, low tone, udala. Phrase, it's also phrase in Igbo, but there is a twist, the spelling is different. Phrase, phrase. Infinitive, infinitive. The same tone, but different spelling. Infinity, infinity. Word, umuroku. Word, umuroku. Speech, oku. Speech, oku. Letters, umure demede. Or symbols. Or Bore de Mede Nominals Ahadi Chichi Nominals Ahadi Chichi Clause is clause but it's with a different spelling Clause is clause Interrogatives is adjudu Interrogatives adjudu Punctuation Akare de Mede Punctuation Akaredemede. Full stop. Bom. Full stop. Bom. Com comma. Recon. Comma. Recon. Semicolon. Bom. Bom. Recon. Se semicolon. Bom. Recon. Colon. Is colon or bum bum 
colon, bom, bom, colon, bom, bom, exclamation, acarambu, exclamation, acarambu, quotation mark, max, acarambu, quotation max, acarambu, question mark, acarajuju, Question mark. Akaraju. Hyphen. Akaruhi. Hyphen. Akaruhi. Apostrophe. We come edu. Apostrophe. We come edu. Act. Enumi. Like in grammar when you say act one. In one, Enume is act. So act, Enume. Sin, Nkeji. Sin is Nkeji. And you say act one, sin one. Enume Nki, go to. Or Enume Nki, Zizi. Nkeji, Nki, Zizi. Or Nkeji, Otu. Enume, Zizi. Nkeji, Zizi. Or Enume, Otu. Nkeji, Abo. So dot, Nto, Bo. Dot on to go. Tone marks akara udaolu. Tone marks akara udaolu. Play or drama is a grievu. Play or drama is a grievu. Simili oyiri. Similar oyiri. The metaphor. It's also metaphor in Igbo. So these are the some of the technical vocabularies that we have in Igbo language that was adopted by the Committee of Society of the Society for Promoting Igbo Language and Culture. These are the technical vocabularies that we have provided. So in the next, in the part two, or oh, let me just continue. So the next is the no. I'm going to get another episode the part two of this of this technical and lexical vocabularies we are going to talk about the lexical vocabulary so I want you to go through this ones very well so that you can know most of them because with time you will see they will be coming up in what you are going to teach because this is not the beginner stage any longer this is the intermediate or intermediary stage. So you've graduated out of the beginner stage. So you're going to be seeing most of these words and I want you to get so used to them. Thank you and do have a nice day.